Hey guys, Corey with Palmetto Battery Pros, and today we are going to be installing the Navitas AC conversion kit into this 2008 Club Car DS. The Navitas kit will ship in two boxes. One will contain the controller, and the second box will contain the motor. Inside the motor box, the motor is protected in thick styrofoam, and when you open up the styrofoam, it is encased in plastic. Okay, real quick, here's everything that comes in the box. Of course, you have your 600 amp controller with the on-the-fly programmer and wiring harness. Comes with a mounting plate and hardware, an instruction manual for mounting the plate, a Navita sticker. Here is a installation guide. There's some hardware, terminal protectors, new main negative cable, and of course your five kilowatt motor. As always, to prep the cart, we're gonna make sure it's off in neutral. We're gonna make sure that we're in the tow position and I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery. At this point, go ahead and get your cart safe to work on and jack it up, remove the rear tires. And I also removed the mud guard, which is gonna give me more room to get to the motor. So at this point, go ahead and take a picture of all of your connections to your existing controller and your motor as well. Now that I've documented everything and I know where everything goes to the controller and how it runs to the motor, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect all the wiring harnesses from the motor and the controller as well while I'm down here. Okay, I went ahead and disconnected the speed sensor here and took off my F1, F2, A1 and A2. Disconnected those from the motor. Go ahead and remove the three 10 millimeter mounting bolts for the motor. There's also a half inch bolt right there on the bottom side of the motor. Here's how the system looks outside of the cart. You can see we have our F1, F2, A1, A2 going to our controller. The B plus from the old controller going to the solenoid and the solenoid going to the positive post. You have your B negative cable coming out. This is the B negative and it's running to your negative post on your battery bank. Okay, here's what the new system looks like outside of the cart and the letters coincide between the controller and motor. So V goes to V, which is your A2. Your A1 is the U, so we have U to U, and W to W with the provided cable. Our B plus runs around and goes to the solenoid, and then your main positive cable connects on the other side of the solenoid and runs to the positive on your battery. Your main negative cable is your B negative, and it's gonna run from the negative on your battery to the B negative, which is there on the bottom right. And you'll notice the R terminal on the far right. That is for an EasyGo RXV, and it is for the resistor coil. So we aren't gonna be putting anything to that terminal for this installation. The far right, Wiring harness is your on-the-fly programmer, and the left is goes to the motor. And this is your speed sensor. It's gonna plug in here. And the vehicle's main wiring harness will plug in there. All right, so I didn't have to drill any holes. I was able to find two holes available here and here, and I went ahead and secured the mounting bracket to the frame. And it's not perfectly level, but I didn't have to drill anything, so I'm pretty happy about that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mount it out there. Go ahead and secure the controller to the mounting plate. All right, so I went ahead and installed the B positive cable, which runs to the solenoid. And I also installed the B negative cable, which is gonna to run to our negative post on our battery. And then of course we have W, V, and U, which are gonna to run to the post on the motor once we get it installed. There's our wiring harness that runs to our motor. 
This is gonna be for our on the fly programmer. And this will be the main cart plug. So I wire brushed the spindle and cleaned off the whole housing. And then I used a automotive floor jack to raise the motor up. And now we're gonna go ahead and slide it in place. Go ahead and replace the three 11 millimeter mounting bolts for the motor. Next, go ahead and run the half inch bolt that's on the bottom at about the four o'clock position. Before you put your cables to your motors, go ahead and insert the terminal protectors. Go ahead and push it through. Using our 13 mil or half inch wrench, we're gonna tighten down the U, the V, and the W. Okay, last thing we're gonna do is go ahead and hook up our wiring harness, and you're not gonna get it wrong. They only go one way. And we'll do some wire management and give everything a once over and we'll be ready to test it. We are ready to test cart operation. So I went ahead and hooked the battery up. Go ahead and put your cart and run. Key switch on, forward. Go ahead and hit your pedal to make sure your cart is working. You can really feel the power in the motor. And I love the way it sounds. All right, guys, that's it for the Navitas 600 amp, five kilowatt hour AC conversion kit installation. Uh, we hope this video helped you out and answered any questions you may have. If you have additional questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will answer them as soon as I can. If I missed anything or if there's a better way to do something, please leave that in the comments below as well. We're not know-it-alls, we're constantly learning, so we appreciate that feedback. As always, hit that like and subscribe button. We have more lithium unboxing and installation videos coming out. We'll also be doing some more stuff like this, so we hope to see you next time. We appreciate you watching. Thanks, y'all.